Hi friends, welcome to my channel Med Time with Dr. Munir Jan. Today I will be discussing video laryngoscopy. In this, I will be discussing overview of video laryngoscopy. What are the advantages and what are the disadvantages of video laryngoscopy? And what are the indications where we can use this video laryngoscope? And what is the technique, proper technique of doing video laryngoscopy? And in the end, most important thing that is the troubleshooting and how we can manage that troubleshooting during video laryngoscopy. So let's begin. So video laryngoscopy utilizes the video camera technique to visualize the airway structures and facilitate endotracheal tube intubation. So what we are doing actually, we are visualizing the glottic structures indirectly on the camera and with that guidance, we are putting endotracheal tube inside the trachea. Now, given the advances in video technology, more reliable powerful and less expensive video laryngoscopes are emerging in the market with increasing availability. Now, despite of lack of evidence whether video laryngoscope is better than the direct laryngoscopy, video laryngoscopy has quickly become a well-established tool for the anesthesiologist and all of the, these, you know, who are dealing with airway. So, very important to, and especially the video laryngoscope, this, uh, you know, uh, popularity has increased since this COVID-19 pandemic. Now, advantages. Given the first most important advantage as far as the COVID-19 is concerned, if we do the video laryngoscopy, we are not that much exposed. We are not, we don't have to go near to the patient, like in case of Derek laryngoscopy you have to see you have to look yourself and you have to put the endotracheal tube while in this case you are visualizing the glottic structures indirectly on the camera and you can guide from the far you can be a little bit away from the patient and you can insert the endotracheal tube inside the trachea so this is one advantage of using video laryngoscope as far as this COVID-19 pandemic or as far as the intubation regarding the COVID-19 patients is concerned. Now the second most important, why, when we do direct laryngoscopy, we have to align the airway. In my previous video, I have told, I have, you know, detailedly explain how we have to align the airway before doing the direct laryngoscopy. So we have to align oral axis, pharyngeal axis and the laryngeal axis. Now when you are doing video laryngoscopy, you don't need to align the airway. Patient can be put in the neutral position and you can insert the video laryngoscope and you can do the endotracheal tube intubation. Now the second you know, advantage of doing video laryngoscopy is improved glottic visualization. Especially in a scenario where there is limited mouth opening and where there is limited, there is restricted neck mobility. So you can have a good glottic view instead of having, you know, limited mouth opening or very or restricted neck mobility. Now the third advantage of doing video laryngoscopy is that video laryngoscopy requires less application of force, approximately 5 to 15 newtons. If you compare this force with direct laryngoscopy, direct laryngoscopy requires 35 to 50 newtons of force to lift the epiglottis up and visualize the glottic structure. So what does it mean? In video laryngoscopy, there is less likely, it is less likely to stimulate the stress response and induce local tissue injury. Now the fourth advantage is that higher endotracheal tube success rate with non-expertise. Somebody who is not expert in doing the direct laryngoscopy, there is higher rate of success when that person is doing this video laryngoscopy. 
Now, the fifth thing, less cervical manipulation. You don't need that cervical manipulation. As I discussed that, you don't need to align the airway. You just have to keep the patient in the neutral position and put the laryngoscope and then do the video laryngoscopy. So you don't have to align the airway. By not aligning the airway, there is less possibility of, you know, there is very minimal possibility of cervical manipulation. Now the fifth, that is the last uh, advantage, there is a faster learning curve. If a person is, you know, doing the video laryngoscope, you know, video laryngoscopy, he or she can learn it faster than as compared to the direct laryngoscopy. So direct laryngoscopy takes more time to learn. It's difficult, but it takes more time to learn the skill of direct laryngoscopy. Now, what are the disadvantages of using video laryngoscope? Now, first most important disadvantage of using video laryngoscopy is that instead of having good glottic view, you are looking to the glottic structures, your glottic structures you can see on the camera, but still you are not able to intubate the patient. So it happens, most of the times it happens. If you are not that much expert, it happens, okay? So instead of having good visualization of glottic structures, you are not able to put endotracheal tube inside the glottis or you are not able to negotiate the endotracheal tube inside the glottis. Now the second disadvantage of using video laryngoscope is that possible increased intubation time. So you might require, you might take more time for intubating the patient. So increasing intubation possible, possibility of increasing intubation time. Now the third disadvantage is that, you know, when we are using video laryngoscope, we have, you know, in, in the back of the mind, we have a false sense of security. You know, we know that we have a video laryngoscope that I may, you know, we might be able to see the structures, I will be able to intubate the patient. So there is a false sense of security. And with this false sense of security, you might not be prepared for the difficulty intubation. So this false sense of security can be minimized if you know that if there is a possibility of difficult intubation, you are prepared for to handle that difficulty intubation situation. Now, there could be an obscured view by fogging and secretion on the camera lens. And these video laryngoscopes, the last disadvantage, these are expensive, okay? So they are not cost effective, so they are expensive tools of doing video laryngoscopy. Now, first important indication is predictive difficult intubation. If you feel that, if you predict by assessing the airway, you feel that there is a possibility of difficult intubation, you can use the video laryngoscope. Now, the second patient with potential cervical spine injury, if there is a potential cervical spine injury, you know, you know, that requires the airway management, it is better to use the video laryngoscope. Now, as far as the COVID-19 scenario is concerned, it is considered that the video laryngoscope, you know, by doing, you know, intubating the patient with video laryngoscope is better than the direct laryngoscope because it is not, you know, your exposure level is minimized. Now the fourth, that is the poor laryngoscope grade on direct laryngoscopy. Now you have done the direct laryngoscopy, the grade is very poor and you can, in that scenario, you can use the video laryngoscope. Now the technique, how we can use, that is the most important thing, how we can use, how we can do the video laryngoscopy. So, so uh, make a C-shape endotracheal tube over style it so it should look like a C. I prefer like this this is the best data uh, video laryngoscope so I will be demonstrating by this so first most important look at the mouth when you are inserting don't look at the screen so go slowly down place the video laryngoscope played in the midline of the patient's mouth so very important you have to place in the midline so advance the tip into the hypopharynx while watching to the screen obtain an optimal image of the glottis so after obtaining the optimal image 
Now hold the endotracheal tube and look at the mouth. Don't look at the screen, put it from the angle of the mouth. So go, go down, 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 advance it slowly and place the endotracheal through, you know, through the glottic opening under direct visualization. Okay. So at the end, what you have to do while you are advancing, pull the stellate up and advance the endotracheal to very important step. You know, otherwise, instead of having good glottic view, you cannot be able, you will not be able to pass it, you know, through the glottic opening. So remove the blade and confirm the endotracheal tube position in the airway. So this is how we do the video laryngoscopy. Now the troubleshooting, the most important aspect of this video that I want to discuss with you. Now, as I discussed in disadvantage, instead of having good glottic view, you are not able to intubate the patient. Now the reason could be when you are inserting the endotracheal tube, it's going downwards. Rather than going towards the glottic structure, it's going downward. It happens. Okay. Now the second thing is that you are there at the glottic structure, but still you are not able to put through that. You are not able to negotiate this endotracheal tube to go through this glottic opening. Now the reason could be first why the endotracheal tube is going downwards. Now the reason is that you have either kept it straight. You have not make it like a C or a hockey stick. So it is advised when you are doing video laryngoscopy, try to make it like a C or hockey stick. What I prefer I make it like a C, I feel it more comfortable rather than making it like a hockey stick. Okay, now the second you, as I said, you are there at the glottis, you are not able to negotiate the endotracheal tube to go through this glottic structure. Now the reason why it happens is that you have not removed the stellate. Okay, as I have showed, you know this uh, technique how we use the video laryngoscopy at the end when I am pushing it down I am removing the stillet I am pulling the stillet up so make sure when you are pushing the endotracheal tube to go through the glottic structure you are pulling the stylet up now this the other scenario can happen instead of removing the stylet but still you are not able to insert the endotracheal tube now why it happens because only the endotracheal tube is heading to the anterior wall of the trachea okay so it is heading to the anterior wall of the trachea so what happens just just try to see it now it is you are there but it is you are not able to push it down because it is heading to the anterior wall of the trachea and you are not able to negotiate it down now what is advice what you can do in this scenario you can keep it there okay either you have to lubricate the tip of the endotracheal tube it is better if you lubricate the tip of the endotracheal tube with water soluble lubricant okay now when you go down it is with the stellate okay remove the stellate little bit up but if it is not still going down you can rotate along with the stellate and put it like this okay or you can rotate over the stillet no need to you know rotate both of the structures stillet and the endotracheal tube you can rotate the endotracheal tube on the stillet and push it down so troubleshooting very important to learn how to manage this troubleshooting i have seen you know most of the people struggle while doing the laryn video laryngoscopy instead of having good glottic view not able to intubate the patient and you know ultimately what they do they do the direct laryngoscopy so my advice first make it like a c okay okay make uh, you know uh, over the end and the stylet make it like a shape it like a c or you can uh, shape it like a hockey stick or when you are doing it you know make sure when you are there at the when you are there in the you know at the glottis remove the stellate up and then push it down okay and make sure that you are lubricating the 
tip of the endotracheal tube with water soluble lubricant and the last thing if you are not still not able to negotiate you can rotate along with the stellet or you can rotate over the stellet this endotracheal tube and push it downward so this is how we can make sure that this troubleshooting is over so i hope this video is informative and i hope you like this video if you like this video please subscribe to my channel and please give your valuable comments and so that i will try to improve for my upcoming videos thank you very much